Looks like G.I. Joe. Oh, wow. This is going to be good. You know, I get phone calls, messages, email all the time from people saying, hey, you got to come check out this stuff. It's going to sell for crazy money. You're going to want to buy it off me. And then I go and it seems to not pan out. This time was different. And I mean different in a big way. An old colleague of mine, a high school history teacher from maybe 15 or so years ago, he gave me a call and he's like, hey, you got to come check out my old toys. I was super excited when I saw what he had, but not nearly as excited as I was when we brought it home and started digging through it. You're going to see that portion as well and then we'll talk about what we're going to do at the end of the video back here in the commonwealth cabin we'll let you have a little closer look marty here uh, he's doing some sporting real quick it's hard for science teachers you know it's a little tough <laughs> you want me to go look at these while you're doing this and yeah 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 okay Okay. There's figurines. Okay. There's some vehicles. There's a little like little Ford thing. My surgery. I was doing nothing like ten years ago. And I was like, no time. <laughs> I started like take some of the, they, like say what it was, what uh, year it was, uh, trying right, to like, give right, some right. value to it. But so all that's directly in the back, and there's a small little box of like He-Man stuff, a little white Subaru right there. White Subaru. And yep. I'll just look through all of it. And... Yeah, take a look. Take okay. Time. I'm not going to. Perfect, man. All right. Thank you. Ooh, you hear that, y'all? He-Man. Let's see what the other stuff is. Hmm. All right, y'all, this tractor back there is making a bunch of noise, so I might have to do a voiceover or look through this stuff right here. Looks like G.I. Joe. Oh, wow. This is going to be good. All right, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those, and it's... Oh, look, it's got all the missiles, y'all. That's good. I mean, I'm going to just hazard a guess $100 right there just right off the bat so we'll see that looks like a giant mess i don't know what it is look at all the figures hmm very interesting 1984 mutt junkyard dog and it's got the dog it's got the cards yowza that one's falling apart rock and roll 1982. Very cool. Wow, I might have to look through this at home, y'all. I might have to figure out a way to offer him something here. Because if he wants to sell it, I'm I'm into buying. Look, all the accessories, and that's the gold right there. That is the gold. And he's done a lot of the research for us. Collector's case very cool very very cool yeah what is this thing okay I don't know if there's any red lines in there doesn't look like it Doesn't look like it. vehicles looks like they all have the weaponry on them the weaponry is what's see that's what's a necessity not on that one
he said there's some he-man stuff and he went on and there's a lot of accessories with it too there's a he-man head look at that very cool i might just go through this stuff at home on a video with you because look at that oh yeah i'm liking it involved in this believe it or not there's a lot of pieces that aren't together now there's a lot of research already done which is really cool and you know these bigger items and stuff it can be a pain this is not a regular gi joe carrying case it just says action figure this is it doesn't have the trays so that case really isn't worth that much um, the cars i don't think are going to have a whole lot of value but here's where the work is right all those weapons they're not high dollar sales but you can sell each one and then you got to match them up with the right vehicle or do you lot them up you know all those cards on there are key too to have all those cards that's big if they're complete there's some of them are twenty dollars thirty dollars looks like the rigs finally left us over there this is kind of cool to have all that it's probably easy a hundred dollars worth of figures easy easy if you put them on a lot and sold them off together a hundred dollars more than that if you're selling them individually more than likely and where they're from if they're the earlier ones you know from china from mexico from taiwan you know I have to see where they're from this is mattel 1983 you know it just depends on where some of these figures are from it gives you the value on them and if they have like i don't see skeletor's little thing here right that says taiwan 81 to 82 so we'll see there she's got the weapon there and that is and say where it's from but at any rate it's good stuff so let's go see what he wants for it there's a lot of work in the little figures which yeah. you've already done a lot of the work which is cool yeah but there's a lot of it that still has to be pieced together and sold separately like, yeah so like it's so a lot of work i yeah. can't imagine how much time it took you to do that <laughs> so it doesn't, i wasn't doing anything okay i had those cards i was like some of the cards match up with, with the people right so that's why i didn't know if you wanted to um well i'll just tell you this is, is it what, easier to sell as a lot okay oh it's way easier yeah. but it's not half the money okay so i am very confident that if i put in all the work and pieced everything and do it just days worth of work i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> well I, I thought about it the other day and it's like if I, if I got 500 out of it so we're not far okay. off from what I thought okay. anyways because I was like I know the Jets were something I know the figurines yeah like, see the Jets the kicker for me because it's easy even if I yeah. lotted everything up I could take the Jet out and sell it and yeah. then I could take I could take the the He-Man stuff it's not as worth as much as the yeah. G.I. Joe a lot of times and that was like how about 400 I'm happy with that because you're like, happy with thinking, 400 I was like if I got to me, it's like five hundred dollars worth of stuff here. I was like, I know it's probably worth more, but if I it's got, worth more, I don't want to do everything, and then I don't have the marketing that you do to get it to people to buy it either. So if you're good with four hundred, I'm good with four hundred. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's already boxed up, it. ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> let me get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you had that money? Yeah. <laughs> you want stuff? Yeah, I'm first. 400. You you might want to count it, but don't do it here so you insult me. You know. <laughs> I'm kidding, but if I am short, let me know. All right, I'm going to take it out of the car and put it in there. I got to run, but it, yeah. you know, if I find something that's crazy and it changes the game a little bit, you'll, yeah, you'll hear fine. from me. And then I'll get some two about our stuff at the end of the year. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do that again for sure. That's where'd, fun. Where'd you park? I'm right next to it. Oh, okay. So we're good. You want to help? It's yeah. all right. You don't have to. 
How are you doing? Uh, crazy busy here, man. That's good. I'm gonna put it back here. The good thing about most of these is like, other than like stuff like this, I like probably traded with some kid that got it. Right. I bought it or invested in it. These are what's key. It right? has, yeah, it has all those little And a lot of them parts. do. Like this one has it and the yeah. other one doesn't, right? Like this one, one there. One of them, I, like, I remember I literally trained right. with a kid and got one mm -hmm. that was kind of beat up to match the other one that I had. But mm -hmm. good amount of vehicles. There's like a carrier vehicle in there. All that stuff's legit. These right here, because these actually can have some value, but this doesn't have the trays in it. Yeah. And this one's actually generic. I don't know if you saw that. That's not G.I. Joe. Oh, that one's not. Yeah, no, I knew that. Which is cool, but... Um, this, I don't know. These probably aren't worth much. I checked to see if they're red lines, but I'm gonna take them in. Yeah, I figured it was like there's anything of value you might know. So this actually, but that's yeah, that's complete. So that's the, that's the kicker for me. So here's what's nice about it. Maybe I don't know if it has still has the oh wow, the check original that out. Pilot I didn't with even his little, that. uh That's his, pretty cool. With his parachute and everything. And these were your toys. Dude, these suckers forever. <laughs> Dude, yep. that's hilarious. I but actually had a. Uh, everything look. is here. These are attached. Yep. I don't know if there's anything supposed to be here or not, but it looks like it's complete, which yep. you're, it's pretty hard to find them complete because these things fall off like crazy. So yeah. you were a good kid, man. All, all those all those little missiles and everything I kept, yeah. Everything got put together at the end of the day, I know that. You don't have any wrestling figures, do you? No, those I Those are my jam right there. I love wrestling figures. <laughs> It ain't that big a deal. See, that's why I like, because a lot of this needs cleaning water. All that needs is cleaning. Yeah. It's all ready to go, uh, which is cool. Like, this is a nightmare to me. So I don't that, even know what it is. So that's pretty simple. So this is like, supposedly like a G.I.G. compound. Uh -huh. And so there's another box that has this. And all it is is, you could drive up a vehicle in it, and it's like a fortified okay. wall. Okay. And they have a place to like, okay how somebody in so yep. all that's part of the same deal all right see this is what these are cool that you have these it's just labor intensive try to get a match yep. up with each one mm -hmm. but this is what sold me yes yeah, so when i started looking your at it, work I like, sold me i was like I it's think a head start this, this is my head start yep because this is uh, listing, cleaning, shipping, putting together. It might be 15 to 20 hours before before anything's even listed. For sure. So, anyway. I had a guy look at it a few years ago, and he's like, yeah, they've got some value. He's like, you just got to get them get them to somebody. And I'm like, I have no idea. And I, it's like, <laughs> I was like, oh, because I had done all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, you can have one that's worth a buck. You, have, you might have one that's worth 30 because it's a rare. He has yeah, a exactly. Outfit. That's exactly right. All right, dude, I'll keep you updated on yeah. it. And, that's Look, very when kind you have, of you. When you have a good window to come by, like a weather day that looks okay. questionable, just holler at me and we can lay out everything, take a look at it. Like usual, everything's not quite as full, but I still got plenty of stuff. Okay. Sounds good, dude. All Thank right. you. All right, y'all. We are headed into this supply hut right here. I just want to show you something because I made a statement on there when I was negotiating. I'm like, you know what, y'all? This is going to take a long time to process. So I want to introduce you to Jess. Say hi, Jess. Hi. I want to show you what she's doing because we decided we had so much going on this Christmas. Everybody's going different directions. Reagan's got ornaments and craft fairs and Blue Ridge Mama's been shipping tons of stuff because we've been making so many sales on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. By the way, y'all check us out over there if you haven't already. And we've been just doing so much that we'd hire a little bit of help to help process these G.I. Joes because there's just no way we can get to them. And I wanted to get to them before Christmas and get a good return on our investment right off the bat. If you remember in the video, I said that this would take two days to process. So Jess is here to tell us, by the way, look at this, this nice setup right here. How long have you already been working on this stuff? 12 hours. 12 hours. And we're, how many hours do you, boy, look at this. See, these are all the weapons you're still trying to connect with the right people and the right cards, right? So are we thinking maybe another six? At least. At least. At least. Okay, so there's 18. <laughs> maybe so 10. I said two days. This is a three-day project. So think about the money that's invested in the labor as well. This, because I know I'm going to get a lot of criticism for offering, I think what I offer, 333 right off the bat. But I knew that this would be massively labor-intensive unless I just did an auction right off the bat and just said, hey, here it all is. Take it on an auction. 
and then make a quick five, 600 bucks on it. But I wanted to make a little bit more money on it, go through the whole process, really see what we have so we don't miss anything great. So Jess, can you tell us, have you found anything great? I know this one over here, I, I found, this is a hundred and something, but I've, I've lost this thing. What the are you working on? The one I'm working on is pretty cool. Okay. Beachhead? So, I found both of them. Oh, okay. And all the accessories and the vehicles over here. So, all these guys and the vehicle go and together? The vehicle, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we have, like, the... Weapon the top to it as top. well. And so, do you have any idea what you're looking up, what you're finding? Uh, not yet. <laughs> and you've got this stuff to go with it. Yeah. And Every, I just, I just found this, so it's everything's together. I just got to And it's out got all the pieces. One. This one's got a little broken piece, but everything else is there. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's really cool. Yep. I know there are, like, I think you were telling me, how much were you telling me on this one right here because everything was, was with there? With just the guy, it was like 10 bucks, but uh -huh. with. With the vehicle itself and all the missiles, the complete set, it's like 89, there 90. There you go. Yeah. And look at this work, y'all. Look at what she's done. And some of this was done. And if you remember the video, earlier in the video, you remember me saying that he's done a lot of the work. And I said there was like 50 that were somewhat put together. And you think maybe 30 or 40 other characters, other figures that weren't, that weren't at all and put I together. I haven't even gotten to these. I haven't gotten to these yet. No. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But Ugh. most of them are complete. They're just not together. Together. <laughs> yeah. Tons of work. Yep. Absolutely crazy, y'all. But look at this stuff. I mean, there's one figure, the Sergeant Slaughter figure, was, uh, I think we have it listed for 90. A lot of them, would you say, you know, anywhere between 15 and 40 bucks a piece? Easily. Easy. Easily. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And it's going to take a long time, but it is going to be a labor of love for sure. Look at all the weapons. And those weapons are going to go with these guys right here. And I've lost this one. And this isn't even counting all the Masters of the Universe stuff, which we haven't got to yet. So, Jess, I can't thank you enough. You're very welcome. And I'm just, uh, how you like working for me, huh? You're Terrible? all right. Not bad? You're all right. Look, I gave her a coffee machine. <laughs> and coffee. And coffee. All right, y'all. Thanks so much. Hey, don't forget, we're in the Supply Hut. Go check them out. If you want to use them and order shipping supplies, go over to supplyhut.com, use code COMMONWEALTH, check it out right here, and you can get 5% off of your order. Thanks to Charlie for that. I just want to show you a little bit more of the process here, show you a little close up on some of these we have, and talk about how much better it is than I thought it was. Jess out there has been working super hard for us. You know, during the holidays, it's a little bit rough around here. There's so much selling out of here. It's been so nice to have a special project like this to call somebody in and they're willing to do all of this work. The piecing together in the pictures has taken a super long time. My wife has been working really hard. Most of this stuff is now listed and it's starting to sell. Just in the last two hours, we've had four more sell. I've shipped one out already. I've got another one ready to go, and we're going to keep track of it over here on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. If you haven't joined us over there, you should go check us out over there. But let me show you some of this stuff. You know, I haven't sold G.I. Joe's in about two years, and the prices are, to me, they're going up. But there are some other things that are causing these to be better than I thought. I was just assuming around a $20 average sales price but I think it's going to be higher than that because we're finding certain ones like this one right here just sold for $70. And it's even got an issue here. And there's, that's it, Viper Pilot, 70 bucks for that one. And there's just some really cool ones. Some of them don't sell for that much. I think the first one we sold only sold for $19, which is really what I was expecting. But there are some of these that are really good. Check out the old prices, by the way. $297, $297. That's just nuts. Ugh. Man, inflation. Any rate, look at, I mean, broken leg, right? So we've got different thing, broken body, sorry. You know, it's 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 in parts. It's missing the, the rubber band right there. Crazy legs. I mean, some of this stuff is cool. We just listed, I listed this one just a minute ago. Look at that. Free Sergeant Slaughter action figure. Details inside with special proofs of purchase. Now, that is here. That's here. And this is what I mean by being better than I thought. This is a mail-in Sergeant Slaughter, 1985-86 here. And that is cool. And you can tell by the red wristband that he has on. And he's got his little baton right there as well. 
And that one we have listed for, I think, $80? 90 maybe? I can't remember. Way better than I thought. And there just are some really cool ones. I just listed the rock and roll one. That one might have sold already, actually. And there'll be a lot of parts and pieces. She's still out there working for us. And this one was listed. I think my wife listed scrap iron. And there are just some good ones. Now, we have not processed most of the vehicles yet. Low light. But, man, it took a lot of time to get through this. And we're super excited about so many of these figures. This one might have sold already. That torch one. Anyway, there are some cool ones. Look at that. I don't remember that one. Cobra Commander. Destro's in here as well somewhere. So, super excited. I want to thank Marty. And we're going to keep track of this one over here on Commonwealth Flipper. Which you know we often do when we give them nicknames. I have the power. Which I didn't even talk about the Masters of the Universe stuff in there. And so we're going to call this a real American hero. A lot of times you'll see that in the listing. A-R-A-H. And so that's what we're going to call it. And we're going to keep track because we're going to do better than I thought. And Marty has taken care of me for a long time. You may recognize him from the lost and found sales because he runs that golf course. And so every year when they got to clean out all the lost and found that nobody claimed, he calls me and I go over to the golf course and I buy the stuff off of them. And occasionally they have some overstock stuff that they have just got to clear out. And he asks me to sell it and recoup some of the money. So I scratch his back, he scratches mine. So on a deal like this, we gave him 400. I think I want to keep track of this to make sure we give him a fair price when it's all said and done because he's taking care of me. So Marty, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, watch Commonwealth Flipper channel and you'll see how much we're making on this. And we'll talk here in a couple of weeks actually because I'm going to head back over there for the lost and found sale. You guys are amazing. This stuff's selling like hotcakes already to both viewers and to non-viewers, we really do appreciate y'all. Don't forget, check us out on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit that alert bell, all that wonderful stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful holiday season as well, and I can't wait to see you next time. I just wanted y'all to know we found that missile. I was editing the video. And I'm like, it's in this box or it's in the parking lot, and we found it. So now that will be complete.